Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. So today, i uh, been obviously spending the last few days very busy outside trying to get the greenhouse and coop, well not coop, but the run done for the chickens because the chickens we found out are coming very soon. Uh, so it was kind of a little bit of pressure, have to get it done. It's almost there. I'm very, very happy with it. But before we go into that, I want to show you some of the plants. They've been outside now since I believe last Saturday. Um, today is now Thursday. Um, and we've gotten a lot of rain, but they're doing so good. Look at them. They're so happy. A lot of peppers, hollyhocks out front there, tomatoes. And look at this, the cherry tomatoes. We actually have some. That's exciting. It's flowering out. This one here is going to be getting into a bigger pot here in the next couple days. We have a big load of topsoil coming. There's my sunflowers back there. More hollyhocks up front. Tomatoes, peppers, and a lot more of the tomatoes. So all I got left here is right where all the skids are is this section here I got to put in a wall and then we can plastic that um, that's not a massive rush but the roof is gonna be the biggest rush here next <clears throat> we got some soil in these in some of these buckets we got some tomato plants and some marigolds with them because I guess marigolds actually keep away some insects so Rochelle put some of those in there But on to the chicken run area. I am, I am actually starting to actually enjoy this um, because we are going to get three Muscovy ducks as pets. Um, Rochelle found an amazing deal on a 300, is it 300 gallon uh, Rubbermaid pond, uh, tote, whatever you, I don't know what you call them. Um, that we are going to include into the chicken run um, so that they have their swimming area <clears throat> uh, so here I'll just show you what we've got done so far so boom what I decided to do is I kept up half of the structure and framed in the front and put the door and everything in there and it strengthened this whole thing up drastically so all I got to do left on here is chicken wire, everything that's open, and then we're going to put plastic all on. Um, at least the roof is going to get plastic for now, and then in early fall, then we'll plastic the sides for winter time. But it is starting to look cool. I am enjoying this. Another feature is the duck pond. Now, we decided because that Rubbermaid tote was actually in there and it took up so much room. And we thought, what could we do? Like, should we just take the ducks and separate them and put them over, separate the ducks and uh, put them over in the, the old quack shack? But we didn't want to do that. We want to keep them together because um, they're beneficial. So that is what we did. Um, we got up inside kind of just temporary just so we can kind of get uh, distance and stuff like that I need to go get some nice rope to hang so I can hang them with hooks so they're easy to take on and off instead of just being tied up like that but I did this little lean-to which will get chicken wired and everything metal roof just like the, the barn but it's coming along I'm gonna have to cover in a section of that but this bottom section because ducks don't roost um, this bottom section we are going to fill in on the other side completely most of this side but this will be where the ducks go and then this here obviously is gonna be chicken door that's where all my tools are stored for right now until I'm done out here but super excited Half of this, um, as you can see here, we tinned half this roof because this side, the sun comes up over here 
and it's here pretty much all day. So we wanted to give them shade and the, it actually shades about half of this perfectly. So that's, you know, what we wanted and it, and it, and it does a good job. So I'm just going to keep that just the way it is. And I, I think it's over. A, Rochelle did the math with the square footage, the amount of square footage with um, chickens and the two ducks or three ducks. Um, we could easily fit 50 or 60 chickens in here, but we're getting 10 chickens, nine hens, one rooster, um, and then two ducks and a drake, um, a scoby. So all I got to do out in this area, obviously, is chicken wire, plastic for the roof. A door I got to build a door to put on there other than that this is gonna be done out here and I'm so excited um, I got to build a ramp for, so the ducks can get up into their pond and a ramp so the chickens can come out of the coop I got a I have a window for here um, and I'm gonna put up some chicken wire and uh, have that covered in and we can open that up every morning also Taz, what are you doing up there? Hey, what are you doing up there, silly? You know I'm filming. You doing a YouTube video and you're meowing and meowing and meowing. You're almost as bad as a rooster. Sheesh. But I'd like to say thank you to everybody for following along. Um, it's been a very long process. Um, but yeah, we're, we're extremely happy. And uh, we would like to say thank you for everyone who's following along on our journey. And uh, I hope you guys will enjoy it, especially once we get the animals in here, see it functional. I, I'm excited. I cannot wait. Um, that's what makes this more worthwhile at the end is once you see the animals in here and enjoying it themselves. So I gotta, I'm gonna decorate this up. I'm gonna do some fun things. And the same thing with the greenhouse. Um, pretty soon, as soon as we get the roof on, then I'm gonna start the irrigation system. Um, we have to go get my carport. We have to go get my trailer with our big plastic totes and get them home. Uh, I'm hoping we can do that on the weekend and uh, start situating a water catchment system for the garden. Um, other than that, I mean, we're plugging along. We're, we're doing pretty dang good. But hey, I'm gonna go rest. My knees are killing me today. Um, I think I have arthritis in my in my my left knee, so. When the weather's coming in like this, I'm in a lot of pain, so, and with walking around, it doesn't help, so I'm gonna go rest it. I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. We got some severe thunderstorms coming in. I can hear the rumbling, so I thought I don't wanna be stuck out there with all the tools and stuff, so I packed up, take a break. My knees are killing me. So, grabbed a couple town all. I thought I gotta go for a ride on the four-wheeler and check out the property and uh and the calves are all having fun just motoring and another one <laughs> 